For content creators that create content on their mobile devices, one of the major issues we encounter is the issue of storage, especially for people that want to create high quality content and long videos. So in this video, I'll be talking to you guys about workable solutions to the issue of storage. The number one tip I'll be giving you guys in this video. Oh, oh goodness. Hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hey loved ones, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if this is your first time on my channel, do well to click on the subscribe button and just like that, you are the latest loved one of mine. I apologize for almost keeping to welcome you guys to my channel. So this video, as you can tell, is a video for content creators or anybody that makes video content, especially the long and quality content online. Let me get right into this. The number one thing I would advise you guys is to delete media content, photos, videos, documents, word document, anything on your phone that is unnecessary. Check it. There are quite a number of unnecessary stuff on our phone. Until we check it to delete them, we would not know. So pick up your phone right now. After this, no, no, chill. After this video, you can go ahead to do that. <laughs> I'm a sucker for keeping memories. Like I love keeping memories so, so much that sometimes when I scroll through my phone, I see a whole lot of pictures from a particular memories. A lot of times I'm the only one in that picture, just posting different poses. And at the end of the day, I don't even get to upload a lot of these pictures. In situations like you, what I usually do is to pick out these pictures and be like, okay, is it really worth it? How many of these pictures will I use in future? Even if I want to think of this memory again, one or two videos or pictures from this day is already enough for me. So the best thing I do in situations like that is to reduce these pictures because they are usually more than 50. Usually more than 50, 50, 50, a lot of time. Some of us are in this together <laughs> okay so i reduce such pictures into three maximum of three because sometimes i still want different poses of myself sometimes a lot of videos are very very unnecessary yeah there are some that like there are some videos that you maybe screen records oh my goodness screenshots screen record something that we never go back to guys some of these things that we never ever buy just delete such documents and Get it over with don't forget to delete duplicated medias as well sometimes when we send pictures to our friends and loved ones on whatsapp and other apps those sent pictures they usually take another space in that app on our mobile devices as content creators or people that need space we cannot afford to be wasting space like that it's usually better you delete the new one you send but make sure the other person has downloaded it on the other end before you delete it why are you seeing a picture severally like that's unnecessary yeah delete them off your phone deleting your videos after you've edited them off your app for example, in CapCut, once you upload a video on CapCut to be edited, like your several clips to be edited, those clips take a whole new space for themselves on CapCut, aside the videos on your in your gallery or in your photos. That's like a whole new space. Well, it's all fine. It's editing up and there's nothing you can do about it. Go ahead, edit those contents. And as you are exporting the content of CapCut, make sure you delete them off CapCut immediately. I'm very guilty of this as well because a lot of time I leave clips in CapCut and they take space like they are enjoying in my in my device, you know? Yeah, I know I kept them there, but that's some effrontery shit. The point of this is to delete video clips after you are done editing them on your editing apps before we move on in this video guys if you are still yet to subscribe to my channel please click on the subscribe button please drop a comment right now this is still the middle of the video there's still much more to get as we move further in this video please. sometimes even after doing all this it's still not the best what i advise is to use apps that keeps media such as instagram story and snapchat when you make a video on snapchat you don't even have to post it on snapchat for it to be in your snapchat app so even if you change your phone 
those pictures those clips everything you've taken with your phone will still be on the app apps like that they are usually limitless you can post whatever you want to post on them as long as possible the same thing is for instagram story too everything you post on your instagram story can still be very accessible for two is deleting unused app make sure you delete apps that are not necessary there are some apps that you've not touched in the past one year delete such apps off your phone they are not necessary obviously because if you cannot do without them you would have opened them at least a year ago the beautiful thing about this is you can always re-download another alternative is to offload them they are still on your phone but they are inactive yes there's a setting on your mobile device to actually offload unused app app that you've not used in a while can be offloaded just create more space on your phone and you can always go back to tap on those app to re-download them and make them active again and the interesting thing about offloading is that you don't have to re-impute your name or other data or anything trying to start from the beginning no everything is already there the third thing i do is to maximize my online storage platform such as google drive icloud for google drive you have 15 gig free um storage space but the thing about this is that that 15 gig can actually be filled and you will need to upgrade you can upgrade to like 100 gig or 200 gig and you have to pay monthly or yearly depending on the plan that you go for this is very similar to icloud as well icloud doesn't offer you like limitless storage so you have to upgrade sometimes and you pay either monthly or yearly depending on the subscription that you go for but there is a trick guys there is a trick so you can actually create many google accounts when you have many google accounts you indirectly have access you directly or indirectly have access to any google drives since but the issue here is that you need to know the password to this google account if you know your details i think you are very good to go just keep creating the google account don't tell me i didn't do anything for you this brings me to the fourth tip which is optimize your other devices if you own laptop ipad tablets any other devices that have storage of their own you can connect them to your mobile device transfer these files these media files and that's like extra space for you but the most sustainable of them all is to get a hard drive and decide to get one gig one terabyte this particular one is one terabyte and it is transcend but it does not connect to my phone so a lot of time i have to send them to my laptop then transfer them to my phone not just a drive can do this guys you can get a flash drive you can get a memory card you have like limitless opportunity to create more space for yourself choose one that is sustainable for you choose one that is easy and convenient for you choose one that is very affordable to you and you are good to go out of the at least four options that i've mentioned in this video that should be able to create more space for you to create your content thank you for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up drop a comment and subscribe to my channel share with your loved ones as well are there any content creation related questions you have ask me in the comment section I'll be answering them in some other videos and I'll be adding them to a content creation playlist so that you can refer to them later. I'll see you guys in my next video or in either of these videos on your screen right now. Bye!